Guys, guess who I'm with right now? Ah, Miami what's up? Hello. What's up? Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for coming. Well, thank you for having me. So I'm actually um, about to interview him. So let's, let's see go. how that goes. Let's go. videos and I'm talking to you. Your English is amazing. Your vocabulary is amazing. But how did you study vocabulary? I got trained. You got trained? Yeah, I was trained by myself at the same time and when I did the movie Unbroken, mm -hmm. that you know Hollywood stuff. Right. You know, to be on the red carpet, we're gonna promote the movies. Right. And so I got trained by the movie companies and it's, oh. yeah it's a, it's a pretty tough thing, especially as a musician playing our you know, no matter what I was, mm -hmm. but the red carpet as an actor is like a totally different experience, a different appearance. And they're like so respons responsible to, you know, represent the movie, you know. When you look around, there's a Quentin Tarantino, uh, you like know, there's, you know, Christopher Nolan, because of, and other great actors like Robert Downey Jr. as well. Great actors, movie directors there, and you need to compete with the other well, yeah, you're like, right. as an actor, mm -hmm. like, totally different world. In my generation, you know, just like my wife, so many people are bilingual or trilingual. So, you know, the English is installed mm -hmm. already, you know, but not me. So, I have been wanting to be able to speak English, but there's no opportunity to allow it to travel around. But still, my English is not that good. So around the first time I started having a whole tour, I memorized everything that I speak on the stage. Memorized mm -hmm. everything. So it's just like I say something, hey what's up? And I thanks, thanks for coming today, blah 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 blah. And then of course the audience like America they love, they react. Right. Right? They're like blah, 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 whatever they wanna say. I have no idea what they're talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I was like yeah. acting like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hard time, yeah. I love it going back to vocabulary specifically. Is there anything in particular you uh, you did to improve your vocabulary? Yeah, it's like, what do you want to say? Like, if you want to say a new word, it's a close word. Synonyms. Close word. Yeah, yeah. So, it's like, what do you want to say? I always have a dictionary on my phone, so I still don't have to say that. Dictionary on my phone, so they might have some okay. new word. But it's not because you know the close phrase or quite close word. I look up and then just start trying to use it. Try yeah, yeah, that's, okay. that's the only way, you know. Yeah. So I just prefer. I mean, I recommend to study even five minutes every day, every compared day. to just compared to ten hours one day a week. My English is just a Same as exercise, same right. as you know. I'm learning Chinese right now, so you are. just a little bit. Continuation. Yes, that's the most important. Right. Okay, great advice. What about pronunciation? Is there anyone, any native English speakers you in, try to imitate? It? Actually, no. No, no one. The person. thing is, I think everything is shifting right now, and then I personally think the accent or kind of unique intonation mm -hmm. are fine. The uniqueness and also personality, you know, speciality. Uh -huh. the yeah, as yeah. A Japanese, you know, as a kind of this is the secret mission to make Japanese accent sounds cool. Mm, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So once you go break through, it's like everything you have start looking cool. Mm -hmm. You know. So to me, it's the accent or intonation, not the problem. Uh -huh. As long as people understand what you're saying. That's so important. Yeah, I think so. Do you have a favorite English phrase? Could you speak slowly, please? That's your uh, favorite English phrase? Yeah, that, that's what I say every day. Really? Even you know, I said that at the Ellen Show. Yeah. You were on Ellen Show. Yeah. Ellen. I think I was the first Japanese. No I way. Think I think time. Wow. Please speak slowly. Did she speak slowly? Yeah. yeah. It's just really nice. Um, just really, really nice and caring about, you know, of course, you know, language level and also and speak clearly and slowly. And then even she brought her mom to the dressing room. 
after the performance. Really? So I thought that was the manager's mom. Oh. I was wondering why Ellen is bringing the manager's mom. Yeah. Or like, oh, that's your mom? But uh, the thing is, we shouldn't feel bad or sorry about we can't speak English. So, well, of course, the English is a global language, and it does kind of matter when you have a conversation, communicate with people outside of Japan. At the same time, you shouldn't feel sorry that much. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's totally fine to say just please speak slowly, please speak clearly. That really encourages my audience. As long as you can deliver the message. Yeah, to try to deliver the message. Trying. You know, if you stop trying, then it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're trying to do it, you know, that sincere attitude. So you're such an international star and you know, so successful in your career, but what do you think was the key to your success? Continuation. Continuation? Yeah, I think so. You know, because you succeed as long as you don't give up, you know, until you succeed. Mm. You just keep going, you know. So, uh, to me, success is to be able to enjoy the moment and enjoy the process, even if it's tough. Somehow you can enjoy it, then your life is successful. I think because you know, even if you succeed something, even if you achieve something big, you see that a lot of stars start having a hard time after their successful moment. So, the most fundamental and important thing is to enjoy the process and keep learning. I think your music brings uh, people together. Yeah, that, that's actually that's why I'm amazed. You know, every single night, the music is invisible. We can't see it. Mm -hmm. We're so afraid. And we're scared of these invisible things, but we still have the power of music, which is also invisible. That's a superpower. You know, even if we can't see it, we feel it. You know, it even changes though, somebody's life. And also, I'm an ambassador for UNCR, uh -huh. visiting refugee camps. So we can go beyond the language barrier or cultural differences. Like even if I can't have a communication with the kids, they don't even know how to write their names. That's why they really want to go to school. Education is really, really important. But when we communicate, the music is a great bridge. It connects us, you know. Yeah. You are the brand ambassador for American Airlines. Yes. I wanted to ask you, what is so good about American Airlines? Every single time I fly, I feel purified. You're fine. Because it's a it's a really really uh, exclusive experience to be to be about the club. Well, of course I, I do love and I do appreciate the hospitality, especially in the states. I've been always kind of traveling and going back and forth between Tokyo and LA and New York. So I really love the idea of flexibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then generosity as well. Some crew member got sick. On a tour, I, I asked uh, Kanabin Alai to kind of let us use some room oh. for him to kind of to rest. Yeah, but they just immediately just, you know, like the room, just a little room, but still, it's a really, really important, especially while traveling, mm -hmm. it's really tough, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those care it, is really, really important, especially for Japanese people who cannot speak English. I'm sure they're scared. The hospitality that Kanabin Alai have is really, really, uh, meaningful. That's why I feel like I'm a, I've got the, the wings to fly. Mm -hmm. We learned so many things during the COVID season. That's a big lesson that what's essential, what's the most important thing. We realize how important to see each other, to feel things, something that we can't deliver through the laptop. But that's a great, great benefit. But at the same time, to go somewhere and meet people and feel the culture, that's something that we can't replace. That's where the American Airlines can take us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I always feel special to, yeah. be, to be in the sky. I'm flying back with American Airlines, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was actually it for the interview. So thank you so much for an amazing interview. Thank you. Good luck with your tour. Thanks. He just woke up. Oh. What does he say? Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> no hi, but bye. Say hi to me, chat. Hi, I'm in chat. chat. Yeah. Is this a dream? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, they said that um, you guys met on at an event or something, and you asked her to be your English teacher. Yeah, that's her TV show. It was a TV show. TV show. Yeah. Yeah.
Is it true that you asked for the video in English to her? Yeah, that's, that was the only way to get, to get access to her dressing room. Uh, that's so cute. Yeah, I actually did sort of like that. Just oh, yeah. as friends um, speaking English on the phone. Right. And then we ended up talking every day. And two months later, we were engaged. Wow. Two months? Two months. You we guys clicked really well. Yeah. Yeah. Like best friends in the Best kind of relationship. Can I get your autograph, please? Of course. Thank you. And it was going to be M-I-C-C-H-A-N. Thank you so much. Of course. So just finished interviewing Miyavi-san and it was crazy. He was the sweetest and the coolest and just so thoughtful and Oh, he has some amazing advice for English learners. So if you're learning English, if you're working on your pronunciation, vocabulary, uh, if you're thinking of going overseas for work, for fun, whatever, just uh, keep in mind that continuation is important, as he said, and enjoy the process of learning. Shout out to Miyavi san thank you so, so much. So I'm on my way to Miyavi sans concert at Fonda Theater. <laughs> Did my hair and makeup and got a nice shirt for tonight. It's Halloween, by the way. And then just did my nails myself. Ah, oh, maybe some the class. I'm so excited. That's the Fonda Theater. Can you guys see? Fonda Theater. Golden Voice presents Mia October 31st. Ah. Oh my goodness, Mia Bisan's concert just ended and I, I'm in shock, I'm in awe. I don't know what to say, it was insane, like, I just... I loved it, I love you, I love him. <laughs> but anyway, um, he's gonna come out and meet me. I'm so excited. Yes, it was amazing, you did, you did so good, I was just going crazy. I actually wanted to ask you about Angelina Jolie, but I know you've worked with her, I know you're friends with her. Oh, she's cool. She's a, yeah, she's a fighter. Yeah? She's a strong woman. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello again. Thank you. It was an amazing night. Thank you so much Mia Bisa for the amazing concert. Thank you whole team. Everyone who organized it and invited us. Thank you for the amazing gift. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.